Quick, go grab your Cajun cousins because we're making Cajun pasta. I'd use a Cajun accent, but I don't know how. Oh wait, it's a little French in it. But it's also got a lot of Cajun. Cajun, I don't know, I can't do it. I, I used down by the bayou and uh, get some of that Cajun pasta from Santa Cookie Eye. I don't think that's how they sound exactly. I used to watch a guy, a cook on TV years ago. His name was, he had that kind of accent. Justin Wilson, Cajun guy. I don't think he's around anymore. But he did stuff like this all the time. Sorry, he did stuff like this all the time. You could hardly understand him. He'd say, whoo. Ooh boy, that's good. That'll be our saying for the day. Ooh boy, that's good. You're gonna like that right, right here, right there, right here. You're gonna have that. Ooh boy, that's good. Ooh boy. Shrimp, obviously, yes, is delicious. Cooks fast. Andouille sausage, a little Cajun-y spice to it. Fantastic. And then uh, a few vegetables and seasonings. And the thing is, it's basically one pot. It's not basically. It is. We will take things in and out, but still, it's only being made in. It's two pots, because you got to do the f pasta and something. That Damn count. it. That wrecked the whole thing. It's one pot, not counting the pasta. But then it's just shrimp and andouille sausage and vegetables. And you know what? Still, by themselves, oh boy, they'd be good. We make our seasoning. That's where we start. Drat down cheer. We begin with a tablespoon of smoked paprika. It looks like that. Same of garlic powder. Same of oregano. And then about a half tablespoon of onion powder. Half tablespoon kosher salt. Half tablespoon black pepper and about a teaspoon of cayenne. I know all my measurements look the same to the naked eye, but I'm pretty certain I'm exact. There's a very sophisticated behind the scenes calculation you're not seeing. <laughs> and just mix. All right. Ooh boy, that smells good. All right. That's for true. <laughs> we dedicate today's video to Justin Wilson. All right, let's get our shrimp. So what you got here is you got about a pound and a half of 16, uh, 21 shrimp. That means there's between 16 and 21 per pound. There you go. It gets a little bit of oil and then a couple tablespoons or so of our seasoning. Like one and two and then a quick mix. Max and Chance. Great. And when they're all mixed up, wash your hand, get a hot pan going and start a cooking. All right, first thing in is some butter. And second thing in, because my pan's too damn hot, is a little bit of oil. There you go. Make this nice all the way around. And before it turns brown, which I don't want, in go the shrimp. I'll try and do them in a single layer. You know what would be helpful? Tongs. Ooh boy, you really smell the seasoning coming up. Come over here, Max. You tell me how you smell this. Say it. Oh, that's nice. You gotta say, ooh boy. Ooh boy, that's for true, real nice. <laughs> Here's the thing about shrimp. You can eat them raw. I'm not suggesting that, but the point is I don't want you to overcook them. So they're not going to get very long on each side. If we look at one of these guys now, after about a minute, this is starting to look good. So let's flip them all. Because you know what happens when you overcook them? They suck. They get hard and rubbery. And who wants that? I don't want that. Nobody wants that. All right, so you get everybody flipped. You're going to give them all another, another minute. Smells good. And then out they come. Love it. All right. I'm happy with what's going on here. Let's take these kids out. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. All right, now we'll drop in some of the andouille sausage. And with the pan still hot, another little splash of oil, and in goes our sausage. And it's already cooked, of course, fully cooked. But we're doing this for color and flavor because now it gets to cruise in the spices that are left over from the shrimp. So this, we'll just give this a couple of minutes. Try and get a little bit of this. Greasy, spicy oil on all sides. All right, so we'll take these guys out and bring the pan back. And still with this fantastic seasoned greasiness inside, we'll add vegetables. And that would be red pepper, red onion, and green pepper. Another touch of oil. We'll let these guys start to soften. Beautiful color. Oh, I love this. Okay, give that about two minutes. Next into the uh, pan, a little garlic. Give it a sec to become fragrant. Ah, it's fragrant now. We'll follow that up with a tablespoon of what could be tomato paste, but I'm gonna use chipotle paste because it will add to the spice and smokiness. And I hope I'm not offending any Cajuns. Oh, you smell it already when it hits the heat. It's great. And then we add about a cup of heavy cream, which should look like that. And now this, which looks thin right now, 
As it heats and evaporates, it will thicken a bit. As you start to get it simmering, we're gonna add some Parmesan cheese. A few tablespoons at a time. We'll put in about a half a cup. And this will absolutely help with the thickening too. We're making a gorgeous sauce here. Look at that. Okay, time for our shrimp and our sausage. And they will come in and look like this. Beautiful. Give that a quick mix. And then we're gonna add our pasta. Now the pasta, and I'm using rigatoni. And it goes, oh look it, this is gonna be great. All right, let's mix, let's see what we got. Could this be getting any more gorgeous? So obviously, we're just mixing. You want the sauce on the shrimp, the sausage, and in all of the little rigatoni tubes. And that's why we didn't overcook the shrimp, because they're Finishing off right here in a most beautiful way. Now I'm super happy with the level of creaminess here, but if yours was a little dry, just take a little bit of that pasta water that still has the starch in it and give it a little mix in. So we'll finish this off with just two things. One will be a little bit more Parmesan cheese, and of course, a little damn parsley, because I love it so much. And you're done. And now just the bite. So my bite will be well curated. There will be some andouille sausage. There will be a beautiful shrimp. And of course, a tube or two of rigatoni. Cooperate here, guys. A tube and a half of rigatoni with a little bit more cheese on mine. There we go. There's my bite. And, oh boy. Don't put that much in your mouth at once. You're gonna want to. The spice on the shrimp is fantastic. The sauce is creamy. The andouille sausage is a welcome guest in this dish. And the little vegetables, small, cut up, colorful, delicious, still a little bite to them. But the mouth feel, the mouth heat is great. It's just living right there. It's living right there. It's not too hot at all. And it's really mostly that little bit of cayenne that went in. Oh, damn. See this scar, this scratch? I don't know what I did. Do you see it? Where is it? Here, is it here? Uh, yeah, I have yeah. no idea what I did. Looked in the mirror the other morning, I'm like, what the hell is that? Uh, thanks for hanging out with us. Um, if you're new to the channel, subscribing would uh, be a nice thing. It would show that uh, you're on our side. And if you hit the notification bell, that just tells you when we've got new videos up to watch. We've got some fun stuff coming, including a month of Smash Burgers. Yes! It's on the books, but we want to know, are there Smash Burgers you would like us to make? Smash Month. Smash Month is coming. Leave a comment below. And Chance, Max, and me, or is it I, are going to Seoul, Korea. Anything we have to know, you could let us know. Comments too. And don't forget, shop stcg.com for pans, knives, our brand new Sam the Cooking Guy apron, the BFA, best fucking apron, BFF, best fucking flavor, our SPG combo. It's right there for you. All right, see ya.